for the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. So, Leo, in the recent past, we got the Ten of Pentacles, and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful card in the tarot. It says that you had a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, all those things were going really well for you in the recent past. You might have needed you might have needed to consider how you got to such a happy situation. You made the best of it, or that's what you should have done. And probably maybe well, maybe share what you had. Even if it was just a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we all know that we get back what we give out. So this was a very happy indicator when it came to love in the recent past. If you were committed, it means that this card means that it probably moved to the next level of living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All these things are indicator by the Ten of Pentacles. But it's paired with this Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is a very forceful type of energy. It can point to a woman in your life. Now, this is a woman who is not going to be trifled with. She will, or she, she, well, it could go either way, but she'll usually have hair on the dark end of the spectrum, dark hair, dark eyes. But like I said, it could go either way. And if this is not a person, it can point to a need that you would have had to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you probably felt like you had to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they were serving you well, you already knew what it is that you wanted and needed. So it was just about going after it. Like I said, the Queen of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find this type of energy really abrasive. So, with these two cards paired together for the recent past, I'm thinking of for a lot of you Leos. It was um, a great connection. You were in a really great relationship or some type of situation that was just wonderful with this Ten of Pentacles showing up here. But the Queen of Swords is showing that you had to, you probably cut this person out or you just cut the relationship off. Yeah, you were very bold and forceful about it. But the connection of the relationship or this person that you were with, it was great. But then something happened whereas you just became really forceful and you just maybe put a stop to it. Yeah, for some reason something happened. But it was beautiful maybe at first and then all of a sudden it just didn't it just didn't work out. And you cut it out. Or you became really forceful and bold. I'm picking up that most of you cut it out. You put a stop to this relationship, this connection or situation that was great. For some reason you just, you had enough. But uh, let's move on over. Let's see if we can get some clarity by looking at the rest of the cards. Now we got this eight of pinnacles for the present time coming up for this month of September and we also have the five of cups now the eight of pinnacles I don't know if you can see the picture really well in detail but I can explain it to you now if you see this man he's working it looks like he probably started early in the morning and now it's going into nighttime and this man has no intentions on stopping Eight of Pentacles is the card that's above the word present. So he's working really, really hard. And on top of that, it's raining outside. And the raindrops, they're huge. They're gigantic. So this man, he has a lot of passion, motivation, and very inspired. 
in the vehicles. It points the necessary effort. You've got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the, to the task at hand is going to be important. But keep in mind, if you let it work for its own sake, that can be counterproductive. So try to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish in the month of September and strive for balance. Because we all know that no one can or should work all the time, the Eight of Pentacles. It's showing a very, very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative. But you have to be prepared for it. Now, this Eight of Pentacles, it's paired with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a card that reminds us where we put our focus. Has a great deal, has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, for this month, you might find yourself trying to choose what to focus on. It may be very clear to you. Um, for example, you might ask yourself, "What are you going? What are you going to choose to focus on? Are you going to cry over spilled milk, or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things?" What I'm trying to say is that coming up this month, you're going to have to make sure you watch where you put your focus, and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. Because when you get the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment. A love relationship that you're in, it may have just ended or maybe about to start the process of ending. So it's about trying to choose wisely because there's some disappointment. Yeah, so coming up for September. Like I said, with these two cards paired together, Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, you're disappointed and picking up. It's about the same person or connection that we just talked about in the recent past that didn't that you had to cut out. You had to cut this person out or cut this great uh, or cut this connection off that was not so great. It looks like coming in September, you're still disappointed. So you're going to have to make a choice on, are you going to wallow in the disappointment or are you going to focus? You see how he has two cups in his hands and three are on the ground and they're spilled. They're spilled um, wine or whatever. Spilled something in on the ground. Everything is spilled out that was in the cups. But there's two healthy cups in his hands, so... It looks like uh, because you got this disappointment coming up in September, it looks like you're going to bury yourself in work. You're going to focus on work. You're, gonna, you're not going to um, really, you're going to try to master a craft or you're going to um, focus on something that you enjoy doing, something that motivates you and inspires you. Because you're disappointed about this this um, connection or person that you had to cut out in the recent past. And you're disappointed that it looks like it didn't work out. So you're going to choose to focus on work. Yeah. So, or just focus on something that motivates you and inspire you. Like I said, you could be trying to master a craft, but um, there's disappointment here because that's what the five of cups is about but you're trying to get on with things and move on with your life and put your focus elsewhere and it looks like it's towards work you're trying to find something that you're passionate about or you have something else that you're passionate about and you'll be doing that day and night so that's what we got coming up for the present time which is september so let's find out what the challenge is going to be. we got the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Now this Three of Cups, it, it's considered to be a card of reunions. Now the reunion in the broadest sense is running back into someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. Now this is considered a happy reunion, very upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own, or someone that you care about. 
maybe celebrating a new baby wedding or some type of really happy occasion. Yeah, this um, Three of Cups, it's with the Page of Pinnacles. Now, the Page of Pinnacles, it's a card about boredom in some ways. You see how this young man, uh, Page of Pinnacles is a card below the word challenge. He's only got one pinnacle. So he's trying to figure out what to do with just one pinnacle. So it could be, for well, just let me explain the word pinnacle for those who don't know. In tarot, it means money, cash, coins, finance. So he's only got one pinnacle, so he's bored. Um, it's about being tempted to say or do things, to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy, because excitement it can be created. Age of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. It brings focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's really not glamorous or fun. Yeah, so Page of Pentacles could be about a relationship that's lost some of its luster. But it doesn't mean it's over or it doesn't mean it's ending. It just means that it's time to take action and discussion. Yeah, to make a change. So, you challenge Leo, Three of Cups, and Page of Pentacles. So, hmm, Three of Cups, like I said, it's about reunions or someone returning from the past. So, for a lot of you, you've got the same person from the recent past that you cut out. Yeah, it looks like they could be making a return. But, a lot of you are, are not into it anymore. You, you're kind of bored with the connection. Or you're bored with what they have to say. Now, the Three of, Pen I'm sorry, the three of Cups, this return of long-lost love or someone that's been away for a while, it probably will start off great, but then all of a sudden you realize that you're just not into it anymore. Yeah, it's lost some of its luster. But this person from the recent past that you cut out, it looks like they're coming back. And it could be a challenge for you because it, it may start off really good, this, this reunion or this comeback, but then you realize that it's, it's not what you really want. Yeah, just kind of um, not into it like you used to be. So let's find out what the outcome is. We got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Now, yeah, the Ace of Cups is interesting. It's about new beginnings. Very powerful new beginnings. Very powerful ones. It's about love, happiness, and affection. Like all the aces, though, it's new beginnings. It usually means love because it's a cup. But it could mean new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things will start to look real. Things will start to look up for you, Leos. Uh, people will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually coming up in September. And you'll be feeling really good about life in general. And this is going to be a really good time to make friends. So it's paired with the Knight of Swords, which brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy coming towards you. So someone is um, wanting to talk to you. Could be someone or something desirable. Yeah, because the Knight of Swords, it points to a type of physical and emotional type of energy being at peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're going to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it points to a lot of activity, travel, and being out and about, getting things accomplished. So this, with this Knight of Swords, I hope that's what I said. I didn't say Knight of Pentacles, did I? But anyway, it's a knight of swords, it's, it's a card below the word outcome. You're not feeling like waiting for anything to come to you. And it's a good thing you're going after your heart's desire. 
So it's about somebody coming in. Someone reaching out to you. They want to sweep you off your feet. Yes, and if you're in, already in a committed relationship, it means that it, become, it becomes a whole lot more deeper and more satisfying. So the outcome... We got an Ace of Cups and Knight of Cups. So it looks like you could have a, a new love interest here. Yeah, because with the Knight of Swords, this person is charging in to be with you. Or you being with them, or you're charging in to be with them. And you'll cut out anything just to be with this person. I'm thinking of it's a new, it's a new love. Because this Ace of Cups, yeah, and you're bored with this person from the past that didn't work out, but they do try to make a return. You were disappointed for a while, but you bury yourself in the work, and now you got this great new love coming in. There's a lot of attraction that this person is going to have for you, and this person will bring a lot of warmth, a lot of warmth, warmth. <laughs> To your life with the Ace of Cups. So look, I'm picking up that both of you are planning to take action towards each other. It's a new great love. Yeah, it'll bring a lot of happiness and affection toward this person is bringing a lot of happiness and affection towards you. They're planning to take action and they're cutting out anything just to be with you. So you got this great new love coming in, Leo. And this person is excited about you and you're excited about them. So, yeah, I think you're done with this person from the recent past. For whatever reason, you cut them out. You buried yourself in the work. You did suffer some disappointment, but you realize when they tried to come back, it was great for a moment. But then you got bored with it. So now you got some beautiful new love coming in with the Ace of Cups. Someone you knew. Yeah, you two will be really excited to be with each other. The both of you will cut out whatever it is just to be with each other. So that's beautiful. That's the outcome that I have for you, Leo. For you, Leo. For you, Leo.